All right, for this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating custom Google Maps. The great thing about custom Google Maps is that they can be done collaboratively and that they can be shared publicly. Um, and you get all the benefits of Google Maps along with putting your own markers wherever you want. So I'm going to do this very quickly and then you can take it as in depth as you want. Just be aware that there are already tons of resources out there for educators on books that have been turned into Google Maps based on setting and historical sites and all different types of uh, Google Maps. They also exist within Google Earth. Here we are. I'm logged in to my account and I am at maps.google.com and I have these buttons up here. So instead of searching for something, I'm just going to click on My Places. And when I click on My Places, it loads a screen that allows me to create a map. So I'm going to create a map of Ashland. And I'm going to leave it public. I could make it unlisted but I'm not too worried about having this map be public. So I'm going to leave it in that situation. And then I'm going to hit save. Now we have on here a couple of new buttons. So you can see the hand for moving the map around, which is the default. So as I glide my map towards Ashland, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And then we have this little tool for adding a marker. And you really can, going the wrong way, zoom in and be very specific as to where you want to place your marker. So I'm just going to head up this way on 135, find the new high school, and drop the marker. That then opens up an edit box where I can add a title and a descript description. Cool part about the description is I can actually insert images um, and whatever text I want to add in here. I can use the rich text editor and that's where I can click on this little image icon to insert images. I can also add links, etc. and click OK. So if you imagine, I could click on this and type in an image. The only trick with the image is it has to be online. So I'd have to have a URL to an image that was already stored online. Think of like a, a website, like a high school's website or other potential locations. All right, so that's how you add a location. And you can get into being more fancy. For example, you can change the icon that you use. So if I'm doing a school building, um, I might find the little green schoolhouse <clears throat> and click OK. You can also draw shapes. Um, lines or actual shapes anywhere that you would like. And if I were doing a map here of all of the Ashland schools, I could go around town and plug them all in. Once I am done, I can click on Done. And it goes in. Now it's closed. If I want to edit, I can still do that. If I want to allow other people to edit this map, I can click so I can drop it into uh, this window here, and I can add a message. Finally, the most important part of a map of this sort that I want to use is being able to grab the link. And the link is under this little icon. This is actually available for any map in Google Maps. So no matter what you're looking at, even if you've created directions between two real places, you can always click on this link and copy this or you can actually put the exact map that you've created into a website. 
by taking the code down here.